Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to go over a thorough step-by-step -step process of how to install Omni Tools on Portainer. If you're looking for an easy way to manage your Docker containers with a powerful set of tools, and this guide will help you. Before we get started, make sure you have Docker and Portainer installed on your server. Also, if you want to dive deeper, uh, check out the Big Bear Community a Discourse, and also join our Discord. Uh, links are in the description below, and let's get started. So this is Omni Tools. It's a self-hosted collection of powerful uh, web-based tools for everyday tasks. Uh, it's got no ads, everything like that. So it's got tools for image management, a, P a PDF. Um, it makes it extremely easy. So image tools, a te a text tools, a JSON tools, and P a PDF tools. And there's more tools too. Um, it just makes it to where you can self-host all this and not have to rely on any cloud service. Um, so we will be installing this on Portainer. So you will need Portainer on your server and installed and running. Um, I'm going to be going over the Docker Compose in the next segment. So I'm going to start on Big Bear Video Assets, and there will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. Um, look for Big Bear Video Assets, and I'm going to um, go over to the search and type Omni. So now you'll see Portainer and Omni Tools right here. Click it, and now you can go in the Docker and Pose. So now the... Uh, this is the Docker Compose, and this is what we will be uh, pu putting into the Portainer to run it. Um, so this will be using the Docker engine underneath, and this is to explain uh, how to make the service to a to, a to Docker. Um, so a, a service is up here, and then the service name is Big Bear Omni to uh, Tools. And then the container name is set to Big Bear Omni Tools, and this is so Docker does not have to generate a random name. And the image is coming off of Docker by default because there's no year before this. And this is the Docker image. This is the Do a Docker image tag right here. And now the container a restart policy is set to unless stops. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails any other reason, then we'll try to restart. And then the port mapping is at 8400. This is on the host side, and it, it and if this does collide with another port on your host, you can change it. So you can ch uh, change it to, to 8401. Uh, um, and then on the cont uh, c container side is 80. Do not change the cont uh, container side at all. And also, um, that's about it. It looks like so. I'm going to go over to the Co uh, copy, which I'm going to just copy right here, and then I'm going to go over to my portainer that's installed and get this set up. So now I'm on my portainer and I'm going to go into local stacks and then add stack up here, and I'm going to name this Omni Tools right here. So um, when you create a stack inside a portainer, you're just going to use a Docker Compose. So I'm, I'm going to come down here to the web, a web editor, and I'm going to paste in the Docker Comp uh, Compose file that we copied from Big Bear Video Assets. Then once we do that, uh, it should be good. So I'm going to come down here to deploy the stack. And now it's deployed, so you can see stack successful. Uh, what that done is it uh, downloaded the Docker image off the registry, got it extracted, and got it up with Docker Compose underneath because this is using the Docker engine also. So um, now we got it up and running, so I'll move on to showing you stack. So now I'm going to go over the stacks and the cont a container in Portainer. Um, so if we go to stacks right here and then we go in the Omni tool stack, the one that we just installed, um, you can see stack up here, stack details, and then stop the stack, delete the stack, create temper from the stack. You can also go in the editor right here and you can ch change the Docker and pose, and then you can update the stack right here. Um, you can also re-pull the image down freshly from the Docker a re a registry. And that's so if you have like a latest tag 
are, are tagged that don't change, but the developer pu pushes updates to it, then you can just check mark this update and then it's done. Um, so you can also see the containers in the stack. So Big Bear Omni tools, and you can see it running. Um, you can go into it, and now you have the container actions. So start, stop, kill, restart, pause, resume, remove, recreate, duplicate, slash edit. You can also see the container status right here. So the ID, the name, the status, and the cre uh, created date, the start time. Um, you can also go in the logs, and this is great for debugging. And inspect, stats, console, attach, uh, create image down here, and then the container details. You can see the ho the host port right here. Then you can see the container port right there. So 8400, you'll go to that in your browser. And then 80 is the actual port on the cont container side. Um, so the command the entry point, and then the environment variables right here, the labels, and then restart policy. Um, I would recommend you going over to the stack and then going to the editor and changing the restart policy on, uh, inside of the Docker and Pose and not do it from here. The connected net, uh, networks down here, it created a, a network. Um, so that's a little bit about the stacks and containers in Portainer. So now I'm going to go to uh, the Portainer's IP, which is my IP, and this will be a, your IP that you go to a Portainer's UI with, and then 8400 for the port, and that's on the host side, and now I'm going to go to it. So you can see that you can search the tools up here, and you can see all kinds of them, and um, you can just say a PDF, and now you can see that all the PDF tools right here. Um, you can go, uh, go, go and see each one of them. So image tools, text tools, a JSON, P a PDF, a videos, list, uh, CSVs, number, P a PNG, t a time, and then get a uh, gift tools. So you can just go into this and you can see all the to uh, tools in that category. So a, re a resize image, compress image, um, you can also uh, go go up here and you can ch uh, change it to dark mode and then to light mode. You can also search over here in the category that you just picked. So that's a little bit about what OmniTools is about. And that's it. So now you have OmniTools up and running on Portainer. Uh, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing uh, for, for more tutorials like this. If you have any questions or want to connect with other tech enthusiasts, uh, join the Big Bear community and also look at joining our forum as well. That's got more in-depth tutorials and links are in the description below. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.